What's up guys, this is Nick from Hybrid Physiques. I want to start off by prefacing that this video in no way is an attack or a shot at Fuad. The reason I'm bringing it up is because I respect Fuad, someone like Fuad as well as Evan because of their analytical backgrounds. And when I say backgrounds, I mean everything they do, they do with precision and extreme accuracy. They look at the clinical data, they do the research, they don't speak blindly. They also advocate on health and safety as much as possible, especially in the sport of bodybuilding. They're always bringing up non-invasive blood pressure. That's what the blood pressure cuff. They're talking about nutritious diets and micronutrients and so on. So I'm going to roll a couple of clips here and then reflect on those clips uh, immediately after. The reason I started doing this is because I want us as the professional bodybuilders to have our own voice. Yeah. Instead of people on the fringes, like... I'm not going to name any names, but you know who they are. Right. That say we take this amount or that amount, and we take this thing or that thing. And I get so tired of hearing all oh, all pro bodybuilders do this or all pro it. bodybuilders do that. And um, you know, and not like I could really give a shit. But yeah. the reason it bothers me is because you've got a whole crop of younger guys yep. coming up, and they hear stuff like that and they believe it. I, I feel like if I can get enough of you guys to come on. And we can get enough of, we can kind of silence those people. Now, there's a couple things I wanted to point out on that clip. And it's Fuwai basically saying us as the professionals and giving advice from the professional level, giving advice from the, the highly competitive level. Evan also responds by saying we've got a whole crop of younger guys coming in and they believe it. They believe the statements that are kind of out in the field. So it's really up to the professionals and the high level competitors to really designate and be honest on the situations and and what occurs in this sport. So I'm going to roll one more clip and then immediately reflect on that. And I tell people all the time, I, pers and you may disagree with me on this, but I personally think bodybuilding in itself is not a healthy sport, not necessarily because of what we eat or what we take or anything like that, but more so just because I don't believe the human body is meant to be carrying around 250 pounds of muscle. I think that in itself is is too extreme for us. And that's what I try to tell people when they point to like, well, it's the steroids. It's this. I'm like, it's not. I'm like, you know, people, people point to, to like Dallas McCarver, for example. Right. And I'll say, okay, there's a couple things there. One, it's genetic. That was like a hereditary thing. And two, it's not the drugs he was carrying around. Like that guy was 330 pounds lean. So that yeah. means he's, he's carrying around like a lean body mass of 280, 290 pounds. It's a large stream. That's a lot of muscle for the body to be pumping blood to on a, day, in a, on a daily basis. So in that last clip is where the statement was made that basically the drugs are not the problem. It's the body weight. Now, this is the issue I have with that statement. If we remove those drugs from that person's body, how much will they weigh? There is a direct correlation with steroids and increased testosterone that allows your body to then weigh 300 pounds lean. So I'm just going to go ahead and be blunt about it. Steroids are the problem. I don't want the perception of its body weight over the drugs. Drugs are the issue. It is the, it is the first and foremost issue. So by brushing it off and basically saying it, it's not the drugs, it's the body weight, I, I just think that's a little negligent of a statement to say. And I'm not doing this behind Fuad's back. Again, I respect him very, very much within the industry. I think he's very analytical. I'm going to send him this video. And I'm hoping that he actually makes a response or elaborates on that. And that's because the point of his videos a lot of times are to protect the youth, is to get the correct information out there and make sure that people make the right decisions in regards to drugs and competing. So again, the issue is there's a direct correlation with testosterone and increased body weight. They bring up Dallas McCarver as an example. Now, Dallas McCarver, of course, we know passed at a very young age at a massive body weight of 320 pounds. Would Dallas have weighed 320 pounds without the drugs? Would he still be alive if he didn't take those drugs? This is the issue I have with the statement overall, and I don't believe that it was malicious on his part. I just think it was a little negligent. And again, after watching Fuad on several videos, I believe he's going to go back and do the right thing and kind of revise and or elaborate on his statement a little more to, to get the correct message out and ensure that younger bodybuilders and the youth actually looks into this and understands that A plus B equals C. So that is the conclusion of the video. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please go ahead and smash that like button. Please subscribe and please add some comments below if you have any questions. I'd love to see your feedback. That is Hybrid Physiques out.